Ladies and gentlemen, you are here with us in New York City to meet two history enthusiasts. Excuse me? I'm sorry, to meet Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson. The issue on the table, Secretary Hamilton's plan to assume state debt and establish a national bank. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. Liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals. We should have settled for less. These are wise words, enterprise, and then quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, because I wrote them. Ow. But Hamilton forgets. His last plan would have the government assume state debt. Now place your bets on who got benefits. The very seat of government where Hamilton said, Not true. Oh, it's a shoe fits. Wear it. It's New York to debt. Why should Virginia fair it? Um, our debts are paid, I'm afraid. Don't tax us out, because we got it made in the shade. In Virginia, we plant seeds in the ground. We create. You just want to move our money around. This financial plan is an outrageous demand, and it's too many damn pages for any man to understand. Stand with me in the land of the free. Pray to God we never see Hamilton's candidate seat. Look, when Britain taxed our tea, we got frisky. Imagine what's going to happen when you try to tax our whiskey. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present. We're running a real nation. Would you like to join us? Or stay mellow doing whatever the heck it is you do in Monticello. If we assume the debt, the union gets a new line of credit, a financial dialectic. How do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost, you'd rather give it a sedative. A civic lesson from a slaver, hey neighbor. Your debts are paid because you don't pay for labor. We plant seeds in the ground, we create, yet keep ranting. We know who's really doing the planting. And another thing is your age of enlightenment. Don't lecture me about the war. You didn't fight in it. You think I'm frightened of you, man? We almost died in the trench when you were off getting hot with the French. Thomas Jefferson always has a dip with the president's predecessors. There isn't a plan he doesn't jettison. Madison, you mad as a habit, so take your medicine. Seeing you in worse shape than the national jettison. Sitting there useless as two bits. Hey, turn around, bend over. I'll show you where my shoe fits. Okay, why don't we take a break and sit down for a little bit. Well, thank you for that interesting debate. Tell me, why did you choose to express your opinions through song instead of like a civilized debate with normal talking? What's your opinion on the National Bank? Uh, um, well, I thought it was very useful while it was in practice, but it was also abolished by... Wait, what? Told you. What? Yeah, you guys didn't know it was abolished by Andrew Jackson when he was president. I, I knew how to place this with this man. Who is this guy? My dear sir, George Washington is president. Well, yeah, George Washington was the first president, but... And I'm running for president next. <laughs> oh, um... Well, anyways, yeah, Andrew Jackson abolished the National Bank. Who is this man? He became president. He hated rich people. He, he hated rich people? I'm more in touch with the common man than he ever would be. Well, that's funny, because he was considered the first common president. Common president? Yeah, of course. He grew up on a farm. Damn farmers. Well, um, why don't we take some calls from the viewers who have some opinions about the debate. First call, I believe, is Eliza Hamilton. Wait, what? You published the letter she wrote to Jill. You told the whole world how you brought this girl into our bed. In clearing your name, you ruined your life. You know and everyone said. When they read the children, they said, You've married a Nicholas. He is frozen from the sun. You and your words obsessed with your legacy. Your sentence is border of offenses, and you have held Lord in every paragraph how they perceive you. Broke her heart. You've 
issues that your wife just made very public. Um, is there anything you would like to say? Aaron Burr? What, Aaron Burr? Oh. I think I might have started there. I think you did. <laughs> 